We are pursuing a two-approach strategy in terms of international expansion. On one hand, we mobilize all of our resources to further push for the penetration of our original business, such as electronic appliance manufacturing and retailing into every single corner in the world. On the other hand, we resort to M&A to upgrade our business model and enter the area of advanced or high-end manufacturing. In the next three to five years, internationalization remains a solid direction for Medea Group. Our goal this year is to have the overseas markets contribute 45 to 50 percent to our total revenue. In three years' time, our overseas revenue should exceed the revenue generated in Chinese domestic market. We're getting up to that one-year anniversary of the KUKA deal. Is it a case of continuing to allow KUKA to have a great deal of autonomy, or are you going to get to a point where you have to change management or you have to look at potentially changing some of the systems uh, and some of the way that KUKA operates? Or is it a case of just letting them have as much autonomy as they need? Now looking back at the acquiring of KUKA, I think we definitely caught the best window to finish the deal. If we had tried to do the same thing today, under today's environment, it probably would have never happened because the situation in the U.S. has changed and the situation in the EU has also changed. We've always kept our hands off KUKA's independent operation ever since we took over the company. We give them full autonomy without sending anyone or stationing any person in KUKA's office in Germany. And we will stick to this governance structure. I know you've already invested in the R&D center in Silicon Valley and you plan to invest, I think, another $250 million, is that right, over the next few years. What's the focus of that R&D center? Our R&D center in Silicon Valley is mainly for our push on the AI front. Everything we do today, from industrial automation to robot making, all closely linked to AI. More and more, AI technologies have been and will be used in our business and products. By setting up such an R&D center in Silicon Valley, not only can we quickly capture the latest trends and progresses in AI industry, but also we get to stay in contact with many startups in the local community so that we can either invest in them or partner up with them. For example, we have recently invested in a voice recognition startup in Silicon Valley, which is actually a unicorn. We will definitely continue to expand our operation in Silicon Valley. Are you still open to further acquisitions at this stage? And if so, what businesses are you looking at to potentially add to your portfolio? Where are the gaps in the business at the moment? We are not planning to make any big-scale merger and acquisitions in the next two years because we want to focus on digesting the business we have already acquired and put them on the right track to generate new cash flows. Medea's current leverage ratio is extremely low, and we have over 100 billion RMB cash in our bank account. In other words, we have enough capital for further expansion and are still very capable of further M&A. But at the moment, we are adjusting our orientation. We will not exclude the possibility of entering new areas in the future. Our strategy is very clear. Our investment must target at three areas, household, building systems, and manufacturing industry.